Welcome to this command the morning this morning. The Almighty God is aware that you will be in this program. The Almighty God knows that you have a need. The Almighty God is a giver of good things. The Almighty God is a repairer of broken down destiny. The Almighty God is a restorer of joy and blessing. And I want to assure you that God is going to hear your prayer today and give you answers speedily in the name of Jesus Christ. Prayer can change any situation. Today, as you pray, your situation shall change for good in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Almighty God shall connect you to signs and wonders as you pray today. Some of you have not sung a new song for a long time. The Lord will put a new song in your mouth after this program. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, everything that you have lost to the enemy, you shall recover them in the name of Jesus Christ. You shall recover them in the mighty name of Jesus. As we pray here today, God will give you extraordinary visitation from heaven and your situation shall change in the mighty name of Jesus expect explosive miracle after this prayer meeting and you will never lose your blessing in the mighty name of jesus father we thank you we bless you we appreciate you i want you to be prepared to pray like you have not prayed before something will happen as you begin to pray healing shall be released into your body deliverance will take place in your life can you say this prayer loud and clear? Oh God, arise and lift up my head in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Oh God, arise and lift up my head in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and lift up my head in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and lift up my head in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and lift up my head in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. 
every enemy of my next level wherever you are expire in the mighty name of jesus every enemy of my next level wherever you are expire in the mighty name of jesus 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 in jesus mighty name we pray now say this one loud and clear oh god of enlargement enlarge my coast by fire in the mighty name of jesus oh god of enlargement enlarge my coast by fire in the mighty name of jesus oh god of enlargement enlarge my coast by fire in the mighty name of jesus in jesus mighty name we pray say angels of my breakthrough where are you appear by fire in the mighty name of jesus angels of my breakthrough where are you appear by fire in the mighty name of jesus angels of my breakthrough where are you appear by fire in the mighty name of jesus angels of my breakthrough where are you appear by fire in the mighty name of jesus in jesus mighty name we pray now say this one loud and clear wind of affliction go back to your sender in the mighty name of jesus open your mouth and begin to pray against every wind of affliction go back to your sender go back to your sender go back to your sender in the mighty name of jesus you the wind of affliction go back to your sender in the mighty name of jesus you the wind of affliction go back to your sender in jesus mighty name we pray oh god of signs and wonder let my life experience your signs and wonder right now in the mighty name of jesus oh god of signs and wonders let my life experience your signs and wonders right now in the mighty name of jesus oh god of signs and wonder let my life experience your signs and wonder right now in the mighty name of jesus let my life experience your signs and wonder right now. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Arrow of spiritual blindness fired against me. Go back to your center. In the mighty name of Jesus. Arrow of spiritual blindness fired against me. Go back to your center. In the mighty name of Jesus. Arrow of spiritual blindness fired against me. Go back to your center. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Now say this one loud and clear. Every cage of domestic witchcraft, release my wet by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, every cage of domestic witchcraft, release my wet by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, every cage of domestic witchcraft, release my wet by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, every cage of domestic witchcraft, release my wet by fire. In Jesus' mighty name we pray say arrow of bewitchment fired into my body go back to your sender in the mighty name of jesus arrow of bewitchment fired into my body go back to your sender in the mighty name of jesus arrow of bewitchment fired into my body go back to your sender in the mighty name of jesus go back to your sender in jesus mighty name we pray now you need to shout this one loud and clear. Say, every witchcraft tree that is caging my destiny, catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Every witchcraft tree that is caging my destiny, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every witchcraft tree that is caging my destiny, catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Now say this one loud and clear. Say, my father, uproot every evil seed that you have not planted in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, my father, uproot every evil seed that you have not planted. In the mighty name of Jesus, my father, uproot every evil seed that you have not planted in the mighty name of jesus my father uproot every evil seed that you have not planted in jesus mighty name we pray right there where you are i command every evil seed that is not planted by god but that is planted by the enemy evil planter 
Let it be uprooted from your destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil tree that is planted in your womb, every evil seed that is planted in your head, every evil tree that is planted in your hand, let it catch fire, let it catch fire, let it catch fire, let it catch fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, it is written, No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. Therefore, every plantation of darkness in your life, I command that evil plantation be uprooted now, be uprooted now, be uprooted now. In the mighty name of Jesus, any form of contamination in your blood, let your blood receive purification right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, right now, receive purification in the mighty name of Jesus. Any demonic spell that is placed on your hand, I command that spell, break in the mighty name of Jesus. 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 Let the anointing of favor, the anointing of progress be released upon you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree by the decree of fire that favor shall meet favor in your life. This week, in the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Now, I want you to shout this one loud and clear. Say, this year shall favor me, whether the enemy likes it or not, in the mighty name of Jesus. Can I hear you shout it loud and clear? This year shall favor me, in the mighty name of Jesus. This year shall favor me, whether the enemy likes it or not. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Now say this one loud and clear. I shall be in the right place at the right time. In the mighty name of Jesus, I shall be in the right place at the right time. In the mighty name of Jesus, I shall be in the right place at the right time. In the mighty name of Jesus, I shall be in the right place at the right time. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say serpent and scorpion. Assigned to swallow my wet, die in the mighty name of Jesus. Every serpent and scorpion assigned to swallow my wet, die in the mighty name of Jesus. You, that serpent and scorpion assigned to swallow my wet, die in the mighty name of Jesus. Die in the mighty name of Jesus. Die in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Anything in my life that is cooperating with the enemy of my destiny, come out now in the mighty name of Jesus. Anything in my life that is cooperating with the enemy of my destiny, come out now. Come out now in the mighty name of Jesus. Come out now in the mighty name of Jesus. Come out now in the name of Jesus. Come out now in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Can I hear you shout this one loud and clear? Say, power that is contending for my blessings in the spirit for done and die in the mighty name of jesus power that is contending for my blessing in the spirit for done and done in the name of jesus powers that is contending for my blessing in the spirit for done and die in the mighty name of jesus for done and die in jesus mighty name we pray now say this one loud and clear. Say, eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood, your assignment over my life shall fail. In the mighty name of Jesus, eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood, your assignment over my life shall fail. In the mighty name of Jesus, eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood, your assignment over my life shall fail. In the mighty name of Jesus, eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood, your assignment over my life shall fail. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, I decree by the decree of fire that every eater of flesh assigned against anyone here, the power of God shall destroy them today. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree divine protection. I decree divine favor. I decree divine promotion. I decree div divine increase into your life by fire in the mighty name of jesus i decree that confusion shall break out in the camp of your enemies in the mighty name of jesus every marine witchcraft assigned against you shall die in the mighty name of jesus the lord god almighty will dwell in zion he will give you answers to all your prayers in the name of jesus 
Thank you, wonderful Father. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, Lord of Lords. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Now everyone need to say this prayer loud and clear. Make sure your voice roar like thunder. Say, agent of darkness that is assigned against me. Wherever you are, scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. Agent of darkness that is assigned against me. Wherever you are, scatter in the name of Jesus. Scatter in the name of Jesus. You the agent of darkness assigned against me. Scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. Scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. Scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. Scatter, 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 scatter. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Now say witchcraft bank. Release all my wet under your custody. In the mighty name of Jesus. Witchcraft bank. Release all my wet under your custody. In the mighty name of Jesus. Witchcraft bank. Release all my wet under your custody. In the mighty name of Jesus. Witchcraft bank. Release all my wet under your custody. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Now say this one loud and clear. Say witchcraft ladder. That is limiting my progress. Break to pieces in the mighty name of Jesus. Every witchcraft ladder that is limiting my progress. Break to pieces. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Break to pieces. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Say every witchcraft barrier. That is limiting my success. Cut fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every witchcraft barrier. That is limiting my success. Cut fire. Cut fire. Cut fire. Cut fire. Cut fire. Cut fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Cut fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Cut fire. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Now say this one loud and clear. What is difficult for order? shall be easy for me in the mighty name of jesus open your mouth and declare that one loud and clear what is difficult for others shall be easy for me in the mighty name of jesus what is difficult for others shall be easy for me in the mighty name of jesus what is difficult for others shall be easy for me in jesus mighty name we pray now say this one loud and clear you need to pray this one fervently say every demonic organized network to stop my breakthrough scatter in the mighty name of jesus every demonic organized network to stop my breakthrough scatter 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 in the mighty name of jesus every demonic organized network to stop my breakthrough scatter in the mighty name of jesus 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 in jesus mighty name we pray and i decree by the decree of fire and every enemy of my progress i command them to receive blindness in the mighty name of jesus every enemy of my next level receive blindness in the mighty name of jesus receive blindness in the mighty name of jesus you the spirit of pharaoh pursue my life and destiny I command you to perish in your sea in the mighty name of Jesus. I command you to perish in your sea in the mighty name of Jesus. Every strong go together with their strong men be broken to pieces in the mighty name of Jesus. Every territorial forces that is attacking my progress be dismantled, be dismantled, be dismantled, be dismantled in the mighty name of Jesus. Be dismantled. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Now raise up your voice and shout this one loud and clear. Say, according to Psalm 7 verse 9, every wickedness in my life expire in the mighty name of Jesus. According to Psalm 7 verse number 9, your wickedness in my life expire. All wickedness in my life expire in the mighty name of Jesus. Expire, 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 expire in the mighty name of Jesus. According to Psalm 7 verse number 9. All wickedness, harrow of wickedness, expire in the mighty name of Jesus. Expire in the mighty name of Jesus. Expire in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And any power that is say no to God's yes in your life. Let the ground open up and bury them in the name of Jesus. Let the ground open up and bury them in the name of Jesus. 
I decree by the decree of fire, the Lord shall favor you. The Lord shall favor you. The Lord shall favor you. In the name of Jesus, any power planning shame for you shall be covered by their shame. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord will give you the neck of your enemies. In the mighty name of Jesus, every pit that is dug for you, the digger shall die there in the name of Jesus. It is well with you. Thank you, wonderful Father. Can you lift up your hands and give God praise and give God worship and bless His holy name and thank Him. Father, we bless you. We thank you. We worship your holy name. You are worthy of our praise. You are worthy of our thanksgiving. There is no one like you. We appreciate you. We glorify you. You are worthy. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus, the honor of my soul. Alpha and Omega, you are worthy to be praised. In our generation, there is no one like you. Alpha and Omega, you are worthy to be praised. And every mark of failure that the enemy has put on anyone, the Lord shall remove it today in the name of Jesus Christ. In a short while, I'm going to listen to the word of God very, very quickly. And what we are looking at this morning will require that we pray effectively. We require that we open our mouth like and pray like you have not prayed before. It is tied to breaking the covenant of suffering. There is a covenant of suffering, and that covenant must be destroyed in your life today in the name of Jesus. The meaning of that is that any power, anywhere in the land, in the sea, in the firmament, in the sun, in the hair, and under the ground that is behind your problems. The Lord will destroy them today as we pray in the name of Jesus. And so quickly we are going to read the scripture. We are going to look at uh, two verses in the book of Isaiah chapter 28. I will read verse 15. And I will read verse 18. These two verses will bring out the point that we are trying to discuss today. And I see God giving you deliverance today in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 28 verse 15 says, Because you have said that we have made covenant with death. So a person can make covenant with death. And with hell. And we are at agreement. Where the overflowing scourge shall pass through, it shall not come unto us. For we have made lies our refuge, and under falsehood we have hid ourselves. Look at verse number 18. And your covenant with death shall be dishonored, and your agreement with hell shall not stand. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, then shall ye be trodden down by it. Now you can see from this passage of the Bible that we have read that a person can make covenant with death. And a person can make covenant with hell. Now, these are the covenant that is troubling lives. There are all kinds of covenant. But for the purpose of this teaching this morning, there are good covenants. Of course, you know that God made covenant with Abraham and the result of that covenant is what you can see in Israel of today. The result of that covenant is what you can see in the life of Isaac, you know, Jacob and Joseph and things like that. So there is a good covenant. But the one we are talking about today is the covenant that brings suffering, that makes people to come under evil torment. There is a covenant that is responsible for slavery. There is a covenant that is responsible for oppression. There is a covenant that makes people to go from one bondage to another. There is a covenant of suffering. And I pray that anyone that is in any covenant of suffering and you are not aware, that covenant today shall be dishonored, shall be cancelled in the name of Jesus. And until such covenant is destroyed, there will be no respite. The problem will continue to go from bad to worse. You know, singing, me, I know, go suffer. 
and not go bear for bread. If there is a covenant that you have not destroyed, that you need to destroy, and you have not destroyed it, sing it, that song will amount to nothing because that covenant is still there. And until such a covenant is revoked, until such a covenant is destroyed, the life of the person will begin to you know, experience negative occurrences. And I pray that anyone who is in any form of covenant today that is bringing problems, bringing sorrow, every covenant that is responsible for continuous failure, stagnation, poverty, lack, shall be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Shall be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. And you and I know that covenant is an agreement. It's a binding agreement between two or more persons. You know, when there is a goal to be achieved, and then two people came together or more, each of them agreed to perform certain tasks, certain functions in order to bring about the goals. Uh, at such a level, covenant is enacted. You know, the other person will do this, and this person will do this, and both of them bind themselves. So covenant has a binding power. Once we enter into covenant with somebody, you cannot wake up one day and you know just decide to walk out of such a covenant it is not possible covenant anywhere has a binding agreement for instance if the other person fails to perform his duties as specified in the covenant i mean you could you could you know you could ask for you could make a, a request for a refund uh, and the law court are there other places but this time around, we are talking about evil covenants. We are talking about satanic covenant. You know, so this covenant has binding agreement. These covenants are very destructive. And a lot of people are inside one covenant or the other. They are unconscious. They are not aware. Of, of course, somebody can be in a conscious covenant. And, and at the same time, a person can be in an unconscious covenant. And all these covenants are backed up by some powers. When the covenant is enacted based on the word of God, based on what you read in the Bible, of course it will be backed up by the Spirit of God. But when it is, you know, this covenant is enacted from the satanic point of view, of course evil spirit will be in charge. And then things will begin to go from bad to worse. I'm praying for somebody under the sound of my voice today. That any covenant that is working against your life shall be revoked today in the mighty name of Jesus. Any covenant that is troubling your head shall be broken today in the mighty name of Jesus. Any power that is making life difficult for you, your mighty God shall destroy such covenant today in the mighty name of Jesus. It is also possible that a person can be forced into a covenant. That is, you are not aware or you are forced into it against your will there are powers that force people into covenant you know covenant that you don't know the terms you know though you don't know the rules of engagement such covenants are very dangerous some people they inherited their own covenant you know from the family from where they are coming from there are an existing covenant that has not been destroyed in such families and then such people find that the the whole problems are just being carried over in their lives. I pray for such people today that any form of inherited covenant that is troubling your life, the Almighty God shall destroy it in the mighty name of Jesus. A person can enter into unconscious covenant through sex, you know, free sex. A person you don't know, you know. Any sex that is outside marriage, of course, will always lead to problems. Many people enter into covenant in the dreams, you know. Many people enter into covenant in the dream. The terms, the agreement that, of course, they are not aware. They don't know the terms. They don't know the, the, uh, the agreement, you know. Let me say this, that when the person is eating food in the dream, it is only serving the purpose of Satan. You know, that food that the person is eating is not a free lunch. It's not a free food from the enemy. It is to carry out an assignment. It is to do a particular work in the life of the person. Of course, that work is not going to be positive. It's going to be negative. The same way too, sex in the dream only serves the purpose of Satan. 
And that's why I'm praying for somebody right now that any power that has been forcing you into an inordinate relationship in the dream, the power of God shall destroy them today in the mighty name of Jesus. The power of God shall destroy them today in the mighty name of Jesus. The power of God shall destroy them today in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, before we begin to pray, there are three main sources why problems remain. And are three main sources why people suffer. You know, it will appear as if people are just praying and they are not getting results. Number one is what is called polluted foundation. When the foundation of a person is polluted, the person will suffer. That's what we read in Psalm number 11 verse 3. It says, if the foundation is destroyed, what can the righteous do? The meaning of that verse means that the fact that you are a righteous person cannot save you. You need to do certain things. You know, one of the reasons many, why many people remain in their problems for a long time is because of foundation. Foundation is so, is so important that many people, all they need to do to work out of their problems, to, to deal with their polluted foundation, to deal with that occultic foundation, to deal with that blood that is speaking against them in the evil foundation. You know, when we talk about foundation, we are talking about the incident that happens before you were born. The incident that happened during the time you were born and the incident that happened after you were born you know the circumstances of your birth the family from where you are coming from you know let me say it this way the evil power that is living in your father's house that has not been destroyed the evil power that is in your father's house that has not been defeated the strong man in your father's house that is still active the idol of your father's house that has not been completely eradicated. The power that is residing in your father's house, those idols, those demons, you know, those ungodly things that is there, those cultic practices that has not been completely eradicated, those are the things we call foundation. And they have a way by which they deal with people until such things are destroyed. I mean those curses, that is still in the family that has not been completely broken. Those things are the things we call foundation. You know, the elders in Jericho, they ran to a man of God, they ran to Elisha. They say, Elisha, please don't be carried away by the beauty of this city, by the beauty, architectural design, on these skyscraper buildings and, you know, excellent road. They said, the problem of this city is, is, is much more. He said, the ground is barren, all kinds of death, all kinds of problems. And then when the man of God heard, the man of God said, give me a cruise and put in salt inside it. How did Jericho, how did they come about their problem? Many, many years ago, Joshua placed a curse on Jericho. And for 500 years, that curse remained. I pray for somebody today that every curse that is still ravaging people in your family, every curse that says you will not see good things, the curse shall be destroyed today in the mighty name of Jesus. Every altar in your father's house that is still speaking negatively against you, that is saying you cannot go higher, that is saying you cannot go up, that is saying you cannot prosper, that is saying you cannot get married, that is saying you cannot be fruitful, and is saying you cannot get admission into higher institution. The curse shall be destroyed today in the mighty name of Jesus. Every idol of your father's house that is still active, that that has not been destroyed by today's prayer, such satanic idol shall be destroyed in the mighty name of jesus any fetish power in your father's house that is speaking negatively against your advancement today that voice is silenced in the name of jesus every strange water with which you were fed with as a child some of you the hair on your head the first hair that was removed from your head you don't know how those that those hair were treated the first person that bought you don't know all the things that they did. Ah, the placenta with which, you know, removed from you. You don't know where those things were kept. I pray that any foundational bondage that is responsible for stagnation in your life, today, that yoke shall be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. 
That yoke shall be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. That yoke shall be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. That yoke shall be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Some of you, you came from a polygamous setting. That one is another bad one. It's it's also part of the foundational bondage. Some of you, the name you are bearing, that name gives the enemy right to come and torment you. I pray that such people today shall be delivered in the mighty name of Jesus. Some of you, there are strange cuts on your body. You have received incisions in one part of your body uh, at one time or the other. That thing, as small as it is, could be the reason why your life is being exposed to certain demons and they are not leaving you alone and they keep visiting you at night. Today, by the mercy of God, every incision, every demonic power that is paying you an unscheduled visit, the Lord will destroy them in the name of Jesus. You shall receive your deliverance today in the name of Jesus. You shall receive your deliverance today in the name of Jesus. You shall receive your deliverance today in the mighty name of Jesus. I pull down every stronghold of demonic powers against you in the name of Jesus. We are going to continue from here uh, next time because we are going to some aggressive prayer that will clean our foundation from any form of pollution. And But before we go into our prayers, I want you to... If you have not given your life to Jesus, I want you to say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you today. Be my Lord and be my Savior. Forgive me all my sin and cancel my name from the book of death. Write my names in the book of life. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I pray for every person who is just uh, giving their lives to Christ now. Oh God, have mercy upon them. And make them your child indeed. Write their names in the book of life. Thank you, wonderful Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. I want you to be ready to pray these prayers that will bring supernatural intervention into your life this week. Can you say this one loud and clear? Say, foundational pollution of my father's house release me by fire in the mighty name of jesus foundational pollution of my father's house release me by fire release me by fire in the mighty name of jesus foundational pollution of my father's house release me by fire in the mighty name of jesus foundational pollution of my father's house release me by fire in jesus mighty name we pray say Causes of thou shall not excel in my father's house that is holding me down. Break in the mighty name of Jesus. You, the causes of thou, thou shall not excel in my father's house that is holding me down. Break in the name of Jesus. Break, 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 break in the mighty name of Jesus. Break in the mighty name of Jesus. Break in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Every ancient prison. In my father's house that is holding me down, break and release me. In the mighty name of Jesus, every ancient prison of my father's house that is holding me down, break and release me. In the mighty name of Jesus, break and release me. In the mighty name of Jesus, break and release me. In the mighty name of Jesus, break and release me. In the mighty name of Jesus, break and release me. In the mighty name of Jesus, break and release me. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Now say this one loud and clear. Say, covenant of failure in my foundation be dissolved in the mighty name of Jesus. Covenant of failure in my foundation be dissolved in the mighty name of Jesus. Covenant of failure in my foundation be dissolved in the mighty name of Jesus. Covenant of failure in my foundation be dissolved, be dissolved, be dissolved, be dissolved, be dissolved in the mighty name of Jesus. Covenant of failure in my foundation be dissolved, be dissolved. Be dissolved, be dissolved, be dissolved. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Now say this one loud and clear with a loud voice. Say, evil hand that is troubling my life, I cut you off. In the mighty name of Jesus, evil hand that is troubling my life, I cut you off. In the mighty name of Jesus, evil hand that is troubling my life, I cut you off. I cut you off. I cut you off. I cut you off. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Now say this one loud and clear. 
with a loud voice, say, Covenant of suffering under which my life is laboring. Break in the mighty name of Jesus. Covenant of suffering under which my life is laboring. Break in the name of Jesus. Break in the name of Jesus. Covenant of suffering under which my life is laboring. Break, 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 break in the name of Jesus. Break in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Can you say this one loud and clear? Say, you placenta strong man, release me by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, you placenta strong man, release me now. Release me, release me, release me. In the mighty name of Jesus, you placenta strong man, release me. In the mighty name of Jesus, release me, release me. In the mighty name of Jesus, release me. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Now say this one loud and clear. Say negative word that has been spoken against my promotion. Wither in the mighty name of Jesus. Every negative word that has been spoken against my promotion. Wither, 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 wither in the name of Jesus. Every negative word that has been spoken against my promotion. Wither in the name of Jesus. Wither in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Now say this one loud and clear. My glory come out of the cage of my location. In the mighty name of Jesus. My glory come out of the cage of my location. In the mighty name of Jesus. My glory come out of the cage of my location. In the mighty name of Jesus. My glory come out of the cage of my location. In the mighty name of Jesus. My glory come out of the cage of my location. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Now say this one loud and clear. Say every evil power from my place of birth that is pursuing my life that in the mighty name of jesus every evil power from my place of birth that is pursuing my life die in the mighty name of jesus die 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 in the name of jesus every evil power from my place of birth that is pursuing my life die in the mighty name of jesus in jesus mighty name we pray say strong man that has stolen my favor. Release my favor by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. You, the strong man that has stolen my favor. Release my favor by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Every strong man that has stolen my favor. Release my favor by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Release my favor by fire. Release my favor by fire. Release my favor by fire. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Now with a loud voice. Say this one loud and clear. Say every evil record, evil marriage certificate and register that are kept against me. Catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil record, evil marriage certificate and register that are kept against me. Catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil record, evil marriage certificate and register that are kept against me. Catch fire. Catch fire. Burn to ashes. In the name of Jesus. Burn to ashes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Burn to ashes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Burn to ashes. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Say any power that has commanded the, the sand of the ground to walk against me. I bury you today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Any power that has commanded the sand of the head to walk against me. I bury you today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Any power that has covenanted with head. With the sand of the head to walk against me. I bury you today. In the mighty name of Jesus. For that and that. For that and that. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Now I pray for every person under the sound of my voice. The teeth of your oppressor, I break it in the mighty name of Jesus. The teeth of your oppressor, I break it in the mighty name of Jesus. Any power that has stolen your glory, I command them to restore it in the name of Jesus. Everything that they have stolen for you, from you, I command them to restore it in the mighty name of Jesus. Every covenant that you have made with water, let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Every covenant that you have made with death, let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. In the mighty name of Jesus, any covenant you have made with any shrine, let it be broken. Let it be broken. In the mighty name of Jesus, 
any covenant that you have made with any native doctor unconsciously let it be broken let it be broken let it be broken in the mighty name of jesus today i command you to walk out of that valley of hopelessness in the name of jesus i command you to walk out of that valley in the name of jesus every prison where they lock you up I command you to walk out of that prison in the name of Jesus. Every mark of suffering on your forehead, let it be wiped off in the mighty name of Jesus. Anything that is working against your marriage, working against your head, today let it expire in the name of Jesus. And every evil record that has been kept against your marriage, against your progress, let that record catch fire in the name of Jesus. He shall go from glory to glory in the mighty name of Jesus. And any evil bread that is flying for your sake shall crash land in the mighty name of Jesus. And anyone that have accepted witchcraft because of you, they shall die with their witchcraft in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord bless you. The Lord make his face shine upon you. And the Lord shall be gracious unto you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let me hear you say seven for them and let's go. Amen, 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 amen. Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing power? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you fully trusting in Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb?